How's it going, Virgo? Welcome back. And for those of you that are new, I'm so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a timeless love reading. So whenever you feel drawn to the title and the messages within, you feel like it's resonating, then that's when it's meant for you to hear. Take what resonates, never force anything to fit. And then always make sure you head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. Most of you know this. I'm giving away three free personal love readings this month. So go ahead and subscribe if you are new. Um, that way you can take part in my monthly giveaways. And it is different when I give away each month. Um, but ret returning and new subscribers, leave a flower emoji in the comment section. At the end of each month, I randomly choose those people to win that participate it, and I'll be reaching out to you through YouTube. So I'll remind everyone at the end of the month to check their notifications because this month, three people will be hearing from me. All right, what needs to come forward, come through from my Virgo spirit? We have betrayal. Someone is betraying you or talking behind your back. And ghost it. Betrayal and ghost it. Look what's at the bottom of the deck, web of lies. So I definitely feel heartbreak here. It is possible you were gaslighted, ghosted, lied to. Someone not willing to take off their mask and be completely open to this connection. Let's see what else. What a way to start off a reading. And life cycles, but good news is... You're closing out that cycle you're moving forward a lot of growth and wisdom within this an ending and it looks like kind of a hard ending for a blessed new beginning overcoming sorrow and look telepathic message so do pay attention to your your spirit guides the signs the synchronicities that they're sending you with telepathic message also this could be the cycle of twin flames um, and in distance, it's a roller coaster of a ride. And it's possible the two of you growing through those hard times, preparing yourselves for alignment. Let's see. The reason I say that is, as I was shuffling through the deck, Twin Flames did come. I saw it as I was shuffling. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? All right, we'll take them. We have Magical and powerful look at that a brand new beginning and like i said coming into alignment i used to limit my goals and and place myself in a box based on what i was told i was capable of since meeting you my my views have expanded and i am trying to dream big because of you i know i deserve more and like i said there is masquerading look at that 28 at 10, we have 10, 10, closing out those cycles. Someone finally getting ready to take off that mask and completely open up. I am wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I am alone, I think about you and realize I was my true self while I was with you. You allowed this person to become humble and vulnerable to this connection. But I feel a part of them held back from you because of things that they went through. And in turn, they let, you know, it, it's like they let their fear, their anxiety get the best of them. They held back how much they opened up to you. Yeah, look at this. They knew they offered you something small. Four, four. Your spirit guides are letting you know that they're with you through this heartbreak through this, you know, disappointment and devastation. And they feel heartbroken being in separation from you, Virgo. All right, let's get into the reading. Spirit, what do you have for my Virgos? Two of Summer. So there's the Two of Cups. There is that, that deep soul bond that I am picking up on. The Magician, the Six of Spring. I have to say this person is making their way towards you. They are closing out a cycle <clears throat> of, 
of I'm going to say of shadow work that they needed to go through. I feel that you received the effects of them needing to heal from certain things. But I also feel that hurting you was not their intention. And that's why that mask is about to come off. I feel this person realizes that they have fallen in love with you, Virgo. Yeah, nine of winter, look at this. They stay up thinking about you at night. They think about you all day. They're basically in mental anguish being in separation from you. And the four of summer. They feel that you are the one that got away. Now, they are going to come towards you and, and bring communication with them. Four of cups is an offer coming in. Like it said, it may be a small offer, but it may be just to break the ice to see how you feel about them returning. But in the Four of Cups in traditional tarot, it is coming from a cloud, so it is divinely guided. We have strong water here and fire and air so far. But then they're, they're manifesting a future with you. The Nine of Autumn... And Spirit saying, with the Nine of Autumn, get ready to reap the rewards of all of your hard work. I feel that this has definitely been a hard journey for you, too. Obviously, sorrow and betrayal, and for those of you that were ghosted, it, it, it was a hard lesson, um, and it was hard to bounce back from. But they're coming in very confident, so I do feel that they've worked on certain things in their within their energy. Why the Six of Spring? Thank you, Spirit. The Queen of Summer and the Eight of Winter. Look at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Spring. So we do have an Ace of Wands. The passion, the chemistry, they're breaking free. They have become emotionally grounded and they know what they want. They're coming in very loving. They're following their heart and it's bringing them to you. This is definitely a lot of mental turmoil within themselves that they're working on. I feel like in the moment they're even they're even giving self-love. And I feel like that's what they need to do right now. Begin, begin to love themselves and heal. Work on their confidence. But you will hear from them. Let's see what else we can get, Virgo. Spirit, why betrayal and ghosted? Betrayal and ghosted. Yeah, I really feel there's about to be a lot of secrets revealed to you from them. They're about to open up and tell you a lot of things that you've made them feel. How much happiness that you gave to them. How much warm, comforting energy you provided for them. They held back. And now they're following their intuition. I also feel a lot of spiritual growth within this person. I feel at a time that you were dealing with them, they came in like the runner type aspect. The runner and the chaser go with a twin flame connection. So I'm telling you, for some of you, it is a twin flame union or growth within the connection. All right, spirit, present into future. What is going to happen between Virgo? And this person. Five of Swords. Feeling defeated. Feeling that separation. The Knight of Cups. Coming in very romantic for you. <clears throat> Making romantic gestures towards you. Yeah. Hoping you will jump right on the back of that horse and soar into the sunset. They're like I said, they're coming in very fast, they're coming in very confident. They want to celebrate this union together with you. They're hoping you will accept their apology. And their confession, because I definitely feel that they have things that they're going to open up to you about. 
they're taking that leap of faith. And I have to say that with that, it's coming in very gentle because you see the deer coming in very gentle, um, but very focused, having evolved. All right, let's see. Spirit, what else do you have as closing messages for Virgo in terms of this connection? Yeah, see? Hassles, problems. Everything in their life was a big mess when they met you. Yeah, they definitely had some inner turmoil. But there they are, they're coming. They're making that journey towards you. They really feel like you, they are hoping that you're ready to hear what they have to say. <clears throat> I have to say Virgo though, with these cards coming out, I feel like it's something that you've manifested too. You've manifested hearing from them, wanting a brand new beginning with them. And there is fire energy. So you may know them as um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They may have strong fire in their chart. Virgo, you may have strong fire in your chart, but I feel eye connection, like intense eye connection, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, mutual attraction to one another. Right there it is, the communication that they have, the secrets that they're going to reveal. They are finally speaking up about how they feel for you. All right, we have C, S, W, H, G, E, U, O, L, A, T, P, N, I, I gotta say, I feel like this is for a good bit of you because I have so many letters and, you know, basically not many repeats. So do take what resonates. Leave that flower emoji down below in the comment section. And for those of you that want me to tune in to just your energy, the link to my Etsy shop's in the description box. Lotus444 is my shop name. Um, it will be reopened and completely restocked in the middle of the month at some point. I'm going through some family things, but then I will reopen and restock. I have one reading being offered currently, um, so you can take advantage of that. But if you want to wait till my shop's completely reopen, you may head over there, favorite it, and then get notification of when I reopen. All right, guys, so much love and light.